And now I would like to describe just a little bit of the women of Jannah. The hadith and the ayat in the Quran have not described the women of this world who enter Jannah. But what have they described? They've described the women who are created in Jannah. The Hur al-Ain. As for the descriptions of the women who enter Jannah, they are beyond their beauty. Forget it. They will look like they were just insignificant, uh, you know, just some, a little pearl they wear around their neck. That's all it is really. So the Hur in Jannah, the women of Jannah. The crown or a tiara that she wears, that she wears on her head. Not even talking about her head. We're talking about the tiara, the crown that she wears on her head. From her beauty, it is better than the whole world and everything that's on it. In another hadith, which is also sahih, he said, if her face were to be shown to the people of the world, there will be a world conflict over this one woman. Forget about all the women that you've ever heard about or seen in this world. They are not even worth, wallahi, an atom's worth of span's length of a hair, of a thread of hair of the women of Jannah. In another hadith, if she spat in the ocean of this world, how salty is the ocean? If she spat in the ocean of this world, it'll turn it sweet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes them in the Quran, Hur'een, lustrous eyes, lustrous big eyes, beautiful lustrous big eyes. In another hadith, it talks about black eyes. Now, does this mean that all the women of Jannah have pitch black eyes? No. If the Quran mentions a particular description of colors, of the men or women in Jannah, it is giving only an example of what certain people can desire. So if he's talking to the people of Mecca, they desired lust, lustrous big eyes, dark pitch black irises in a woman. So Allah says, for you, you will have that. In other words, if this is what you desire, you're going to get it. If you desire blue eyes, you're going to get it. If you desire green eyes, you're going to get green eyes. If you desire different colored eyes, you'll get them. Allah says in the Quran, they will have in Jannah everything that their nafs your temptations, your lusts, your desires inside of you tempt for. Anything the nafs desires for, you can have it. Allah SWT says, whatever the eye wants to taste, meaning to look at, they will have it in Jannah. But the most beautiful thing of the women of Jannah is their nur, the light that emanates from them. And they have been clothed with clothing from Jannah. Harir, silk of the most finest that you could ever imagine. And their shapes and forms, are, you'll read the Quran and the Hadith, you will see it. So you see your wife in Jannah. Now there is a question. Is it your wife that is in this world? You will see her again in the hereafter. Or is it another wife? Or is it women that Allah has created? Is it the same man that you will get? Asma radiallahu anha married a Zubair radiallahu anhu. And she complained to her father Abu Bakr about a Zubair radiallahu anhu ajma'in. Anhu ajma'in. About a Zubair's strictness. Like she, 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 she complained that she's too strict on her. Zubair is one of the ten promised paradise. And Abu Bakr said to her, O oh my daughter, please be patient because a woman, if she has right, a righteous husband and then he dies and she does not marry after him, Allah will bring them together in Jannah. Here is a woman who is complaining about her husband. In other words, if it's a woman today, they'll say, Oh my God, I'm complaining about him here and I'm going to be with him for eternity in the hereafter. I'm never going to get married ever. Or I can't wait till he dies so I can marry someone else. Uh, it's not like that. Remember, brothers and sisters, you have to try and understand. When Allah is messenger speak to us about Jannah and the things in Jannah, you cannot think in the mind of this world. In fact, you cannot understand it. Allah says in the Quran, you will never hear in there hurtful words. We will not hear in there offensive words, degrading words. Harsh words, annoying words, all of that. Never heard, hear, hear negative words. So whatever you say, you can talk anything you want. But every speech that is said in Jannah, you receive the feeling of peace from it. So that spouse you have in this world who has struggled and you may not have a pleasant life with him or her in Jannah, if they are righteous, that's the condition, they'll be a totally different form. So imagine the righteous women of this world and the righteous men. No matter how you may look, no matter how your character is, in Jannah, you'll be of the perfect form.